I think my opinion is that's very important for a leader to be humble enough to say, I don't have all the answers, so um, come on, nation, let's gather around together. Abraham Lincoln did that when he called for fasting and praying so that um, God's will would be done in our country and so that um, God's hand of protection would be made manifest in our country. Uh, History has proven that that principle to be so true and so right, I believe country has been touched by God because when we formed our union, leaders back then dedicated our country to God and said that we would seek his, his will for, this, for our great nation. I think if we could get back to that, that humbleness with that um, kind of contrite spirit, I think that um, uh, we would be able to be provided more of the answers to so many of the great challenges that we're facing. And these are huge challenges, whether we're talking about health care, whether we're talking about energy independence, whether we're talking about national security measures. No one person has all the right answers. It takes a united nation, and it does take godly counsel, and it takes prayer and answers to prayer and a collective humble heart of a nation seeking God's hand of protection and, and his blessings of prosperity. And um, I think if we can get back to that, our country will be a safer, more prosperous, and healthier nation.